I'm John Buckley. I live at 314 Gisha Drive. And I just have one question. I know during the recent elections now we had a few of our taxes go up. And I think that's great. But I hear this budget all the time, and I'd like to know there's never a beginning balance, there's never an ending balance, and now we're spending more money. What's that going to do to my property taxes? I don't know where we're at fiscally here, and I'd just like an answer. Thank you. Anyone else like to vote for support? I would. My name is Brian Lee, I'm a 214 Let me start off by saying I'm a union man too. I really am. I'm a staunch union man, having my entire whole life. Still workers local 1499. And I know that it's a fundamental, basic purpose of the union is to make sure that people stay working. I'm all for union people. Anybody as far as that goes to make money. But I cannot see that we can do this, grab this race, and either not lay people off or raise taxes. I don't see how they can do it any other way. I'm a union man. I'm all for people getting money. But this is going to have, he can't even tell you if you can pay out of it. He's a finance committee chairman. He can't even tell you if you can pay it out of it. That's all I got to say. Anyone else? Hello, my name is Chuck Lizzo. I've lived here for almost 20 years. I I'm kind of confused about the election results. We haven't really heard anything. And from what I understand, we're waiting on some absentee ballots to come in. And would those votes change the, out the, the outcome of the election? No one has actually officially said anything, and I guess as group citizens, we just kind of like to know what the results It comes from the courthouse, sir. You call, call the county court. And then April, April 23rd, they have to canvas and, and, and declare basically all the votes. So that's when the county clerk would do that. April 23rd, there'd be official results. All right, thank you. Anyone else? I have a question. My name is Debbie Blaylock. At 610 Hollywood Heights Road. These are these roses that were approved and everything. The money's not there to pay it. Are these people going to lose their jobs and their benefits? I myself worked union 35 years also. In many years, we had to take a freeze in wages just so they wouldn't lay people off to cover our pay. So that's what I'm asking. Are you prepared to lay people off if the money's not there? To me, you shouldn't be paying out raises until the finances are in the black. You can't just keep digging the hole deeper and deeper. So are you prepared to tell these people, well, okay, we have to give you some raise, but one person's going to lose their job so that we can make budget. And the rest of you is to have to take an extra street on your route or whatever. You're going to have to pick up the slack. All because we approved this two and a half percent raise that we can't pay. That's, that's all I wanted to put out there because somebody should be worried about losing your job in this. Because if it comes down to it, yes, you know, and if they want the union wage, they want to look out, work out of the local 100, go back to the home work. And then put one in people and pay them 10 hours an hour. But you can't keep spending money that's not there at all. Because the way we're reading it, we're ignoring debt to everybody. From charter to everything. And we've got one of the best water companies there is in the state as far as the money it brings in and generates and stuff. And I know we put all the sewers to help them with the sewers up there in Fairview, is it? That's going to be connected with our water company. I'm not sure because they're, they're the water company there, so I would imagine the sewer stuff should be connected to them. But that's all I got to say. If you told me any of these families, be prepared. We approve your grace. Somebody's going to lose a job. Somewhere, somehow, someone's going to have to lose a job to get a little. That's all.
That's all I have to say. Thank you. Hello, hi, my name is Christine Ledoux, and I live at 309 West Lincoln. And there's been some recent activity two doors down from my house. I'm not quite sure of the address, but I'm sure everyone in the police department knows of it. Anyway, um, I'm really concerned with my grandmother and my mother. We have lots of people come to our home, and it seems like we have some drug dealers in the neighborhood. I've, st I've stood out of my front door the yard and blatantly watched them sell drugs. I mean, we're not stupid here. We know what's going on in the town. So we have to wait for us to for us. On either the beginning of the month or on Friday, it's car after <coughs> car after car after car. It's like a drive through and it's frankly very frustrating. You call the police, yeah, they'll drive by and they'll do something, but why can't we park a car out in front of the, I mean, something into the car that, are, that I see sitting in the parking lots across from the, uh, from the um, police station? Maybe we can park one out in front of their house on a Friday afternoon or just leave it sitting there. I don't know. There's got to be something else that we can do about this because frankly, I'm seriously concerned that there's going to be a drive by shooting or a gangbanger coming by, balloons flying. You know, police don't have names on them. You know, they just go. You know, they want to be having friends over and hear gunshots after the next thing. So that's one of my biggest concerns. So I just really expect more from the case of Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I like to follow the statement with Christine. Uh, their neighbors are right across the street. Oh, by the way, I'm Rick Pierce. I'm, I live at 314 West Lincoln. I want to second everything Christine was saying. Uh, I know a couple weeks ago, even about 12.30 in the morning, the was there. At the beginning of the weekends of the month, it seemed like when uh, government checks come out, it, it's a drive-through service there with that. Uh, and I'm not condoning We have a lot of nice homeowners around there. I, I do know it's a rental house. But the other thing about this house is, uh, it just seemed like it's day and night. All the time, you know, cars coming in, coming out. I have some license plates. There's one vehicle from Missouri. It's there all the time. I saw a car with a, a residence, I guess they are, get in it. One morning, 60, you could tell they'd been out all night long or across the street. I don't know if this is coincident, but now I just looked across the street from us tonight, and now our neighbors next to Christina have their house on So, you draw the picture. I, mean, I think we need we need more enforcement for police. I, you know, trusted this town, this police for a lot of years, but I'm here to stay. Thank you. Anyone else like to go to